Hello everyone, my name is Matthew David. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a new tool of mine called Loader, which is a SysWhisper shellcode loader that I've just publicly released on my GitHub. And for this demo, we'll essentially just be cloning the repo from my GitHub and using it to compile a few pieces of sample shellcode to see whether or not they're able to bypass an updated Windows Defender. So right now you can see I'm in my Kali Linux virtual machine and I have the page for this project pulled up in a web browser. First thing we can do is click the code button and select the URL that we need in order to clone this repository. And we can open up a terminal, and do a simple git clone. And now that we've cloned the repo, we can CD into it and then do a simple LS to see the files that we have. And the main file we're going to be using here is the Python file, which acts as the builder for our stub. And if we just try to run it with no arguments, we can see the usage for it. And all that's needed in order to make this work is one single argument, which is the file. Um, and this file is the file that needs to contain the raw shellcode that you want to use. The only other parameter is the out file if you want to give it a different name other than a.exe. So now that we know how to use the tool, we can try to generate some sample shellcode to use it with. So first, we're just going to go as simple as possible and use uh, a simple msfvenom command that will generate shellcode that launches calc.exe. And as you can see here, we are giving it the raw format and then just saving it to a file. So if we hit enter, That looked like it worked. And if we just do a simple ls, we can see that we now have our raw shellcode saved to a file. And we can use our loader.py builder and give it the calc.bin file that we just generated as the only argument, and then hit Enter. And you can see that our tool successfully compiled the stub into a.exe. So now we have a file ready to use on any Windows machine that we want that should launch our shellcode without being detected by Defender. So to test that, we can set up a simple Python HTTP web server, like so. And then we can head over to our virtual machine. Here you can see I'm looking at a Windows Server 2019 virtual machine. And if we check for updates, you can see that we're fully up to date. And if we go into the protection updates section and check for updates, you can also see we're up to date here. And if we go under the virus and threat protection settings, you can see that real time protection is turned on cloud delivered protection is turned on. The only thing that's turned off is automatic sample submission. And under exclusions, we have none. So now we can go back, open up a PowerShell terminal. And first command we're going to run is just a simple invoke web request to download the a.exe file that we just generated in the previous step from our Kali Linux virtual machine. So we can do that like so. And now that we have our file saved to the system, we can run it like so to see if it works. And we can see that we got our calculator. So our shell code was indeed able to run without being detected by Windows Defender. So now we can go back to our Kali Linux virtual machine and we can try to generate maybe a more complex shell code that we'd want to use with this. So to do that, we can open up Cobalt Strike and here we can go under the attacks, packages, Windows executable. We're going to be using the stageless version. We're going to be selecting our uh, beacon or rather our listener right here. And then for the output, we need it in raw format. We're gonna be using the 64-bit version. We're gonna click generate. And then we're gonna to go to our demo folder and go into loader and then save it as beacon.bin. Save successfully. Now if we do an ls in our folder, we can see we have beacon.bin. And same thing we did before, we can use loader.py with beacon.bin as the only argument, hit enter. 
and you can see we compiled a new stub. So same thing we did before, just host a simple Python HTTP server so that we can download and execute it on the other virtual machine. And now we can head over there and do the exact same thing we did last time, which is download the file like so. And then execute it like so. And it looked like nothing happened, but then if we go over to our Kali Linux virtual machine, we can see that we did indeed get a beacon and we can interact with it and run a command to see that it's working with no issue. So the final thing I'm going to be demonstrating is running this Cobalt Strike beacon on a computer that is using uh, Windows 10 21 H1. Um, which there are some issues with SysWhispers working on that host, um, and that's why you need to use SysWhispers 2, which my project does use. So to just demonstrate that real quick, um, I can take this a.exe file that we have right here and copy it to a shared folder that I share with my host computer, like so. And then I can head over to my host computer and as we did with the other one, we can check for updates to make sure it's fully up to date. And it is. And then we can go into the protection update section to make sure that that's up to date, which it is. And then we can ensure that real-time protection is turned on, cloud delivered protection is turned on. The only thing that's turned off is automatic sample submission. And here, um, you can see that I've CD'd into the shared folder and the a.exe should be there ready to use. And now if we run it and then go back to the uh, Kali Linux virtual machine, you'll now see that we have two beacons, one on the virtual domain controller and one on my desktop. And both of them work with no issue and both of them were able to bypass Windows Defender without a problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as I said earlier, this tool is publicly available on my GitHub repository, which I'll link in the description, so definitely check it out. And please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support I've gotten so far, so uh, really appreciate that, guys, and I'll talk to you some other time. Thanks.